Hey guys, Mike with the Magic Dads. So we are less than a week until Thanksgiving Day, and I don't know if you've already created your menus, but if you haven't, I have a recipe for you that you may want to take a look at. So today's recipe comes from the Delicious Disney Holidays Cookbook. For Thanksgiving, we're going to be making the pumpkin ginger soup with milk foam. According to the cookbook, you'll find this recipe on the Disney Cruise Line services. Okay, so to make our soup, the ingredients required, we're gonna need two and a half cups vegetable stock, 12 tablespoons of butter, two onions, finely sliced, one stalk of celery, roughly chopped, two tablespoons freshly grated ginger, half cup all-purpose flour, one four pound pumpkin, peeled, seeded, and cubed. So I'm gonna be using this pumpkin here. As you can see, this is much larger than the recommended four pound pumpkin. This is actually a pumpkin we had left over from Halloween that we never got around to carving, but it's still good. And I figure waste not, want not, right? So I'm actually going to cut this down to get us the proper amount we actually need for this uh, recipe. Now the recipe gives you an alternative to using a real pumpkin, which can be a big time saver. If you'd like, you can use canned pumpkin. If you do use canned pumpkin, just make Make sure you're getting canned pumpkin and not canned pumpkin pie filler. The supermarkets tend to put them right next to each other and it's very easy to get them mixed up. Just make sure you're using regular canned pumpkin and if you are, you'll need about two cups. You'll also need one and a fourth cups of heavy cream, three fourths a cup of apple juice, and coarse salt and ground white pepper to taste. And for our milk foam, we're gonna need a quarter of a cup of whole milk and one quarter cup heavy cream, and then freshly grated nutmeg for garnish. The cookware required for this recipe include a small saucepan to warm up our vegetable stock. We're actually going to make and cook our soup in a large stock pot. This is a 12 quart. You definitely don't need anything this big. I think a six or an eight quart stock pot will be just fine. We'll also need a sieve or strainer that we will use to pass through our soup into a finishing saucepan. And then lastly, for our milk foam garnish, you can use just a small saucepan for that. In addition to the cookware, you'll also need either a regular or immersion blender. And now that we have all of our cookware ready to go and all of our ingredients, it's time to start cooking. Okay, so what we wanna do, we wanna warm up our vegetable stock. So we're gonna pour that into our saucepan. And we'll put that at about maybe medium heat. All right, so we're gonna take 12 tablespoons and add that to our stock pot. And go ahead and start melting that. Probably put that on medium heat. Once your butter is melted, we're gonna go ahead and add our sliced onions. We're gonna saute this over medium heat for about two minutes. We're gonna go ahead and add our celery and our ginger. Go ahead and give this a stir. And we'll go ahead and saute this for two minutes more. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add half a cup of flour. And that's just general all-purpose flour. And we're gonna stir this for about three minutes. You wanna make sure you're constantly stirring at this point so as not to burn your flour. After about three minutes, we're gonna go ahead and add our hot vegetable stock. Go ahead and give that a stir. It's nice and thick here. And we're gonna bring this to a boil. Once you get that boil, go ahead and add our pumpkin. Once you get everything good and incorporated, we'll go ahead and cover this and we'll let this simmer for about 30 minutes. 
So as this is simmering, you want to make sure you check it every few minutes and give it a good stir because we don't want it to scorch the bottom. So after 30 minutes, we're going to go ahead and add our heavy cream and apple juice. It's one and a half cups heavy cream and three fourths of a cup of apple juice. Go ahead and give this a nice stir. And then we'll go ahead and let this simmer for another 20 minutes. So the great thing about soups is that they always taste better the next day. So this is a great recipe. If you're gonna add this to your Thanksgiving Day menu, you can do that with little stress by making this a couple days in advance. So now that our soup has been simmering and our pumpkin is very, very tender, now we can run it either through a regular blender or you can use an immersion blender. You'll have to do this in a couple batches. We'll go ahead and ladle our soup right into the blender jar. And that's about, well, maybe it'll smidge more. You don't want to overfill it. Add this. And a, an important note I want to tell you right now is make sure your lid is secure. But see how we got this plastic piece? Most blenders will have this. You'll want to go ahead and remove that. You definitely don't want to lock in hot liquids when you're using a blender. And instead, I'm going to top it with this uh, rag. This is a damp rag. And I like to leave just a smidge, just a little bit of a hole there, just so it has a little extra room to breathe. If you don't do this, your soup will end up all over the place. So we'll go ahead and turn this on. And here we go. Should be good. Go ahead. Go ahead and take your sieve and then just pour it right through. Okay, and so we're gonna go ahead and repeat this process until you've passed all of your soup through. And depending on the size of your blender, it may take two, maybe three rounds. Our top is locked and go ahead and cover it with our little towel, leaving a little hole. As you can see, this made a lot of soup. This is a four quart saucepan, so we got a good amount. This will easily serve decent sized Thanksgiving party. Let's go ahead and season it with some salt and our white pepper. Got that great velvety consistency. It's a perfect soup for Thanksgiving. So with our soup ready to go, we can now begin the second step. And it's there's really not that much to it. It's just creating the milk foam. Now, if you don't want to do the milk foam, you definitely don't need to. You could absolutely serve the soup just as it is like this. But the milk foam does create that really awesome garnish. So we're going to go ahead and take our small saucepan and we're going to add a quarter of a cup of whole milk and a quarter of a cup of heavy cream. We're gonna heat that up over medium heat. You want it to get hot, but not boiling. Once your milk mixture is nice and hot, we're gonna go ahead and take an immersion blender and start slowly and just start frothing it. So it's almost Thanksgiving. I'm gonna go ahead and use my turkey bowl. My family makes fun of these because they think they're ugly, but I like them. We're gonna go ahead and add our soup. Go ahead and lightly top this off with a little bit of our milk foam. And then we'll go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of nutmeg on top. And there you have the pumpkin ginger soup with milk foam from Disney Cruise Line Services.
Hey guys, so I hope you liked this video and I hope you really liked this recipe. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And from our magic family to yours, have a happy Thanksgiving.